I'm gonna show you how to be a lazy natural now. If I don't show you nothing else, I'm gonna show you how to be lazy. Hey curl friends, it's underscore sincerely Asia and I'm back at it again with another video. Today I'm talking to you all about a black owned business. Of course, they're called Velusive and they sent me a few products to try out and with the help of their products, I created this fire stretched twist out. If you would like to see how I prepped my hair and achieved this look using one product. Let's take a moment. One product. Then just keep watching because I'm, I'm going to show you how to be a lazy natural now. If I don't show you nothing else, I'm going to show you how to be lazy. So I'm starting off with very dirty hair. I have not deep conditioned my hair in about 12 days. And you know that is a sin for me. And it was looking very much in need of some extra love. So I grabbed the Velusive 5-in-1 Clay Hair Mask. It replenishes, restores, defines, detoxes, and moisturizes dry hair. And I'm definitely looking for moisture for this wash day. Now, moisture is so important today particularly because we're going to be grabbing some heat tools and y'all know my hair does not always take well to heat so I have a very particular method that I like to use when applying heat to my hair. That's why it's great that we had so much moisture in this all natural mask. I make sure to massage my scalp and stimulate my hair cuticles before I go in with their all natural hair growth oil. I put it on the roots, my scalp, the ends, and I just make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized. The major key I'm going to grab my plastic cap and let it be accompanied by my hooded dryer extension I'll tag below or link below <laughs> the Amazon link of where I got this from and the exact one that I like to use and then I sit it on my head for about 45 minutes on medium heat from my Revlon blow dryer. So after we're done with that, I went ahead and washed it out and did my regular wash day routine. I will tag one in the cards above. Y'all have seen me wash my hair so many times. And look at the moisture. Now there's definitely a texture difference. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I cut off a major chunk of my hair out of the middle of my head, taking out the patch and twist. But, you know, your, your girl gets, still got something to work with. Like, she's still, you know, look at that. Look at that. My hair looks so clean and so moisturized. Perfect. I'm finishing up with this little commercial it's time to get back to business I'm about to show y'all how to avoid heat damage at home at all costs without even using a real heat protectant I'm going to grab that same oil that I used earlier and just massage it into my scalp because y'all know your girl likes to be juicy and you can never have too much oil and for a stretch style where I'm going to use direct heat with a blow dryer I'm going to first put that hooded blow dryer back on my hair and let my hair get about 60% dry because the less direct heat, the better. So this 
Ashe and Prey was basically the start of the show. It's very similar to a shea butter. In fact, I believe it is a shea butter and it has a flaxseed in it as well. The product says that it reduces hair breakage, moisturizes, and repairs dry hair. So I basically use this as my heat protectant. All right, we're getting into this blow drying process. Now my hair is about 50-60% dry from being under the blow dryer earlier for about 45 minutes. And I'm going to get into detail of how I blow down my hair when we get into the front. I can see a noticeable difference between my blow dried hair and my air dried hair. And that's the look that we're going for. Alright, so let's get into a step by step. I'm coating my hair with the Shea and Spray. It's very important that you generously coat your hair with this. You get it on every strand because it's really going to act as our heat protectant. Now I'm taking my blow dryer on medium heat and this is how I'm getting my hair stretched. Now it does take a little bit longer but it's definitely worth it. You're avoiding too much heat on your hair and you're getting a good amount of stretch. It's not giving you silk press but it's definitely going to give you volume and definition at the same time, which is for sure the goal. Now, this blow drying process, like I said, does take longer, but the style is basically over after you blow dry. So girl, do it really take longer? So as you'll see, coming up, I'm going to change my blow dryer to the highest heat setting. And I'm going to just blast it a little bit just to get those last few strands in check. But I make sure to not leave it on high heat for a long time, maybe 30 to 60 seconds. And then it's over. Look at that. We're, we're done. The added moisture of the Shea and Prey as a heat protectant and as a styler just makes it that this style just goes by so quick. After I do the twist, I'm done with that section and we can move on to the next. So here I am showing you that I have the blow dryer on medium heat. And a major key is that you don't just let the warm blow dryer sit on any particular part. Make sure that you're moving that heat around, that every strand is getting equal distribution. And we're not focusing too much on any one part because that's how we're going to get our heat damage. And that's not what we want. So after this last twist is done, that is it. We are ready for bed. This is the style. Like, it's about to be popping tomorrow. Who is this girl? Okay. So I basically just went to sleep after that. I slept with my hair in a silk hair tie as well as a silk scarf. And we're just going to grab more oil, honey, because you can never have too much. And go ahead and massage that into my scalp. And then we are about to get into this take down and separation. Belus have also sent me the cutest little mini pick. I think it's so cute to take with you in a little handbag. And so that's what I use to pick out my hair and separate my twists to get the volume that I deserve. So I sped through this part because it's basically just me separating and fluffing and then separating and fluffing and then separating and fluffing some more. And that is all up for 
what volume level you want. I wanted it as big as possible, girl. That's me. Thank you so much for watching. Look at, I mean, do y'all not see the volume? I'm obsessed. I will link all the info for these products below. Be sure to head over to my Instagram and follow me there so you're up to date. There will be a giveaway going on probably in the next month. It's going to be a 25k giveaway for my Instagram. And I'm also going to be doing a 1500 subscribers giveaway here in the next month as well. It'll probably happen sometime next month or towards the end of this month. Whenever I hit 15k, there will be a giveaway. Ooh, look at me manifesting. I meant whenever I hit 1500 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. But the giveaway on my Instagram is probably going to come faster. So, make sure you're linked in there. I don't know yet. But, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.